So this is what I got set up with my bike. The frame started out just like this one here, a little purple thing. The front end is higher because I used some different forks because I wanted the suspension. Suspension sucks so it's welded up now. But with the front end lifted up that much, just enough room to get this engine in here with some straight tubes that are level with the ground back there just enough room all this nickel plated stuff that all came from the local Sears that closed down like four years ago got it from a dumpster back here on the back of the CVT no I'm not calling it a torque converter fuck you I have this pulley back here. This side of it is just welded to the shaft. This side can unscrew and get wider or smaller. So effectively it has, uh, I can adjust the gear ratio in this similar to the way a CVT works. Except this is just set it and then it stays. Back here, this is where it gets half-assed. I welded a second rim this rim and just laid the belt on there when the belt cooperates and stays the way it's supposed to it grips fine right now it's flipped upside down this tension on here helps keep it tight you see it's kind of bent because I was trying to coax it to stay over to where it hopefully wouldn't flip but that didn't work apparently I've been told that the way it's set up now you know, except for the belt not fucking cooperating. This can do 40 miles per hour. Which uh, is plenty. One of the biggest differences is right here there's a little throttle stop screw that limits how far it can go. I turn that counterclockwise two full rotations. After doing that, it seems like the torque can... God damn it. The CVT actually cooperates better. Before it just kind of lazily barely moved and it was pretty shitty. But yeah, basically I'm, I'm able to keep up with city traffic. Some people have asked me who makes them. Do I know where I can get one made? Of course I made this one myself. I would not recommend doing this with just ordinary bike parts. If you could get just an entire motorcycle or some kind of decent scooter front end and then a more substantial rear end, of course rear suspension is always nice, but but like that'd be your bare minimum for where I'd start. And then get some slightly more substantial tube, at least slightly better than this, to make the frame. Then you'd be good. Right now it looks like I'm going to try to get a... Uh, overpriced pulley sort of 30 bucks for a 16 inch proper v-belt pulley so this damn belt doesn't turn it on its side once i do that this thing should make a decent daily driver as long as i don't accidentally like run into a curb and taco my rim anyway Oh, I guess I could mention, uh, I just have a plate down here that the motor's mounted to, big slots in it, so I can move it forward and back. This right here is a 60 inch belt. Could go a little shorter, and I could go barely a little longer. But yeah, when it works, it, it works good. The spring I'm using for a tensioner is the, uh, break from a lawnmower. You know, when you let go of the throttle, it's it's not really the throttle, but the uh, return spring for that, that also jams a little brake pad into the flywheel. That's what that is. And it's plenty of tension. I uh, just looped a piece of tie wire around the exhaust, hooked it on here, stepped on this peg, yanked up, and then put it around the exhaust again. That's enough tension. 
My only problem is this damn belt rolling over. But the way it is now, if I gun it without leaning forward, it pops wheelies. The way the handlebars were before, they were down here. And that basically forced me to lean forward enough to where it wouldn't pop wheelies. But just le putting the handlebars up here and just kind of sitting upright, it it wants to throw me off if I gun it. So I just gotta lean forward a little bit. Anyway. <laughs>